Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde, and today I have a very exciting unboxing slash reveal for you that is in this fashion file box. Which, yes, it, I had to sing. I'm very excited about this one. I have been obsessively stalking many sites for this bag because I did not want to play retail for it. Um, and I was kind of kicking myself for not buying it when it first came out, and I was seeing it on the pre love sites because it was much cheaper. This bag has actually been out for... I think maybe a year and a half to two years now, but it's just really picking up steam, like a lot. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive in. So this is from Fashion File, as I said, you guys know, if you bought from Fashion File, the box, the bag is in this dust bag, the Fashion File dust bag. And then uh, you've got your you know, typical like confetti in here. Uh, and I do have the new calendar, which is very exciting. Uh, the shop sell repeat and the receipt which is in here and of course no fashion file boxing is a fashion file unboxing without the fashion file nail file so i do appreciate that fashion file does this but i do wish there was a way you could opt out of this confetti because it gets everywhere um and it's kind of a little bit of a waste when you order from fashion file kind of a lot because you're like i don't need this confetti to be everywhere um so maybe they should do that like an uh, so we can save a little bit of paper but okay into what is in the fashion file dust bag. So this item did not come with its initial dust bag, which is fine for me because fashion file does provide their dust bag. And it is, ta-da, a Celine Triumph box bag in the medium size. And this is in the box calfskin leather with the gold hardware. So this is actually showing up as like this, a really kind of cool taupe color, but in real life, it is much more of just a like plain gray. The color actually is pebble. Um, but I kind of like that it's showing up like this taupe color, but it is like a true flat gray. Uh, I'll try to post a picture up of the actual color so you guys can see it. But why I purchased this from Fashion File and didn't get it from the Celine website, which I've also been stalking, is the cost savings. So this, without tax and everything was $2,805, $2,805. Retail price on this bag is $3,650 in the box leather. And then they do have like a really pretty brown that's more of like a vegetable tan leather that is $3,750. So that I had good savings to begin with. And then I, uh, regardless of if I had bought from Celine or Fashion File, do live in California. So I do pay tax on both. Uh, and I would have gotten free shipping on both. So really it comes down to like the cost of the bag and then obviously the tax is less if the bag costs less. So I was very happy to find this on Fashion File. There, they did note two areas of wear on this bag, which didn't really bother me, but I'll show you guys. So first is, do you see right here? You can see it a little bit now when I tilt the bag a certain way. So the use of the clasp when using the bag and where the clasp is on the box leather has kind of created little wrinkly lines right here. Uh, they're much more prevalent on this side than the other side. I think that's going to happen with wear on the bag regardless because how you do open the bag is like this, which is like a little release. And I think that is going to create just wear on the bag because you do pull down like that to close it, which is fine by me. And then the second is, let me find a good area of it. There is some wrinkling on the strap right there. It is not uh, like actually like torn apart or anything like that. Like you would see when the Louis Vuitton strap uh, start to wear, it's literally just wrinkling on the box leather. And I was okay with that for the deal. Plus for some reason, there are only two leathers right now on the Celine website. It is this with the black box with gold hardware. And then that vegetable tan leather I did talk about. And I know they have more colors in store, but they have been discontinuing a lot of colors. So I was happy to be able to get something that was a little different than the black and gold or the brown and gold, because I do already have a vintage Celine box bag with the horse and carriage clasp right here. That is the black and gold. So I didn't really want to get that again. Like I said, this is the medium bag. So it is, the width is nine centimeter, excuse me, nine inches in centimeters is 22.5 inches. The height is six inches or 16.5 centimeters. The depth of the bag is three inches or seven centimeters. And the drop, which is adjustable, as you guys can see right there, 
is 19 inches. So like I said, this is box leather. The interior of the bag is actually lambskin. There is a back slip pocket and then it is three pockets very much like the box bag. There is a zippered pocket in the middle compartment as well, which I find very nice. It is basically the box bag, but with a different closure. A lot of people do not like the closure because you do have to like push down on it to close it. And then there are two little buttons right here. That's how you open it. I know people think Celine closures are often finicky, but as you can see, I'm doing it one handed. I don't think it's finicky. It does not bother me. Uh, kind of just again, reminds me of the box bag, just a different closure here. This bag can be carried crossbody or shoulder, but it does not have a top handle bag. I love this bag. I'm so excited to get it. As you know, it was on my wish list. I'm excited to get it for less than retail. I really didn't think I was going to find it for less than retail because I, like I said, have been stalking the Especially Fashion File website to find it. And there was just a ton like a ton of box, um, excuse me, Triumph bags on there that were over retail or at retail. That price, they were fully in stock on the Celine website. I'm just gonna buy it from Celine. I'm not gonna buy it from Fashion File. I just knew I really wanted a deal. And like I said, I did not really want the black with the gold hardware. And I did not want any of the ones that are combination leather and canvas, which I do think are pretty, but I do think really skew summer. And I think this color and same with the black and gold or the brown and gold can be worn all year round. So that's more of what I was looking for. Like I said, I do have the box bag. I do love it. So that's why I wanted to add this. I just really love this Triumph style clasp. It is very, very reminiscent of vintage Celine. And if you actually see the Celine canvas, it is the Triumph pattern. It's just a little harder to see. And this bag, like I said, has become very, very popular. I have seen it everywhere. So I was excited to get it for less than retail from Fashion File. There are still deals on there. You just have to hunt. I also found this. They listed it really late at night, PST, and I was still working. And I saw it and I showed it to my husband. I was like, I'm buying it. It's coming. Um, and he was like, okay, like, you know, you, you do your craziness, Sam. And I was like, good, because it's coming. Um, and then I do live in California, so I do get them within like two days of ordering, which was great, even though I just pay for ground shipping. I think the only thing that for me would make this bag better, this is the same with the box bag, is I would love a back pocket. But like, look how great this is, guys. There's like nowhere on that. So I would love a back pocket on this bag, but it just doesn't exist. And that's something I have to deal with. But if you want to see more reveals, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which right now is three times a week on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you have any comments about this bag, if you have this bag, if you love this bag, please let me know down below. If you want to see how I style this bag, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.